here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's Vendor Reset, the greatest on the interweb. It's April 16th and today's Vendor video will cover my top picks, hot ticket, interesting items and must buy gear for the week. Remember to show your support if you enjoy or you find this video helpful, a simple like is all that it takes and if you're not already, please subscribe. Righto, server maintenance is done and dusted, now it is time for the vendors, so let's get stuck into it. Kicking things off this week, we're going to start at the countdown vendor where we have the safety distance, the Caesars Guard chess piece, and the Devil's Jew backpack. All of these are very mediocre this week, I would be passing on them unless you need them for your expertise. Our old mate Roy at the Haven's got these nice bellstone knee pads. They're pretty solid attributes across the board, 118k armor, 4k regen, and 7.1% headshot damage. These would be perfect on a regen headshot damage build, especially if you don't have those Emperor's Guard knee pads. At the White House, we've got the Henry chess piece. This one's got health and hazard protection, maybe for some sort of hazard protection hybrid, but I'm gonna be skipping it. And this Black Market AKM is pretty nice. It already has strained on it. You can either keep the damage to armor, but I would be swapping that to damage to targets out of cover. At your clan vendor, we've got the proxy backpack. It's not that great. Um, the Cavalier knee pads are okay. They've got armor and near max armor regen. Unfortunately, everything else here does look trashy, but there is a 5% crit hit chance mod. I'd only recommend this for brand new players to the game. At the theater settlement, there's not much happening. We do have a baker's dozen, but that's about it. At the castle settlement, we do have the darkness with max marksman rifle damage, but that's about it. Over at the campus, we've got the forge holster. Again, I would be passing, but this military MK46, it's not too bad. It comes with a talent sadist. I'd swap that headshot damage to damage to armor. Now for our Dark Zone vendors, we're going to start at DZ West, where we've got these Emperor Guard knee pads. These have skill tier, status effect, and armor regen. I don't mind these ones at all, roll armor to them and keep the status effect. That works really well with the Ridgeway's Pride chess piece. This would be an awesome variation for my Bleeding Bighorn build that I dropped yesterday. And below that, we do have an M870 shotgun. It's got all the attributes that we want, so you can just swap Ranger to whatever talent you like. Down in DZ South, we've got the Swap Chain SMG. The RPM on it is great, but that's about it. All the other gear here is average, and I'd be saving my resources. And the last stop this week is gonna be at DZ East, where we've got the Commando, and they've also slipped in the Relic. Both are smelly dog water, I'm going to be passing. And unfortunately champions, that's going to wrap it up for this week's vendor reset. If you're interested in the daily targeted loot, it's on your screen now. Do take note that currently Walker and Harris is targeted loot for DZ East. So if you're still on the hunt for one of those crit crit matador backpacks, get to farming now. Thanks to everyone for tuning in and make sure that you show your support by smashing the like button on this video and if you're not already, please subscribe. Everyone's support is always greatly appreciated, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.